Live from Kibbutz Keturah, it's Israel's first solar field. Israel's first solar power energy field is set to launch this Sunday at Kibbutz Keturah near Eilat. The Arava Power Company built the field, which is 80 dunams in size, and produces 5 megawatts of electricity. The solar power will be distributed to people's homes through the electric company at the end of August. This, this solar field is going to provide enough energy for this kibbutz, Grafit, and Lotan, roughly, or I think you said 7% of uh, Eilat's uh, energy needs. This, this, is, this is a down payment, essentially, on the solar future of the state of Israel. The solar field is the first smaller part of an immediate two-part plan. The Arava Power Company is currently working on obtaining the necessary permits to build a second field across the street. The second field will be eight times the size of the first and capable of providing for a third of a lot's energy needs. Dr. Tarek Abu Hamid, who researches renewable energy at the Arava Institute, says the region is ripe for solar power collection. In this region, the Arava region, we have one of the highest solar radiations in the in the world, which makes us, which gives us the opportunity to test and evaluate the the PV technologies. Israel is out of power. We have a power deficit. You're supposed to even have a 25% reserve. We are at zero reserves. It's a dangerous uh, uh, position and very unstrategic. Uh, the state of Israel has to realize that the sun is free, is forever, it is a gift from God, and we have been blessed, blessed with an unlimited amount of sunlight. 60% of the country is desert. Yosef Abramowitz, who is one of the co-founders of the Arava Power Company, says that solar power is a clean and quiet renewable energy source. He adds that in the summer when the demand for power spikes, solar power is a cheaper solution than running generators to produce the needed extra energy. So th this costs a shekel 52. We, we get paid a shekel 52 per kilowatt hour uh, during the same hours that we're all paying for two shekels for the uh, generators in Eilat. The Arava company was founded by Yosef Abramowitz, David Rosenblatt, and Kibbutz Keturah, who was represented by Ed Hoffland. They spent the past five years working to obtain the proper permits from the government and importing and building the solar panel units. There are um, these huge explosions happening in the sun. Uh, it takes about eight minutes for a photon to uh, just blaze through uh, the Milky Way from the sun. And uh, it comes and it hits a panel. When it hits a panel, it goes in at the uh, subatomic level and it excites the electrons and throws out the electrons. So an excited electron that's moving out uh, and a stream of them is called electricity. One of the biggest issues facing solar energy That's today the, is the lack of capability to store its electricity. According to Abramowitz, solar energy couldn't provide for more than 20% of Israel's power without storage capability. However, 20% is still a long ways away, and the Arava Power Company is currently working on the goal of providing 10% of Israel's energy. But uh, once you figure out storage issues, yeah, of course. Of course, you can go to 50%. If you, if you can do storage and uh, build out your grid in the right way with that plan, Israel, Israel could be 100% solar by 2020 if they can figure out the right kind of smart grid with the right kind of transmission lines and storage for the energy. Benjamin Spear reporting for the Jerusalem Post.